this will probably end up being the last video that you see in this channel about New World. As much as I would love to be able to generate content about guides and good places to find loot, how to do different farming methods, different PvP builds, war stuff, unfortunately, it just seems like it's a waste of time. Because the reality of it is, the pace in terms of bug fixes and things that need to be repaired in this game are just too damn slow. Newsy news. Newsy news. As you can see here in the background, there's uh, the old startup window for Escape from Tarkov. And to be completely honest, I think I'm just going to switch back to playing that game and call it a day. This video is going to cover probably a little bit of my own catharsis in all of this, just based on sheer frustration. And I know I've made a couple of videos about this kind of stuff in the past, and I don't want to sit here and bash the crap out of the game. In all honesty, the first 150 hours, like I have said multiple times in the past, are great. You can get away with enjoying this game a lot by kind of putting your nose to the grindstone, not paying attention to the bad stuff going on around you. And much like a, a toddler or a child going into kindergarten, having no real semblance of the world around them, you can enjoy it for a time. Unfortunately, just like the rest of us in the real world, as we age, we start to see the uglier side of things when it comes to a game or world like this one. And the hits unfortunately just keep on coming. Hey everybody, my name is OnePeg, and if you're relatively new to the channel and my content, I would ask that if you do end up enjoying what you see here, that you consider subscribing to the channel because, uh, well, I don't want to kind of do this stuff all the time, but sometimes we do some editorial stuff like this. In the multitude of issues that New World experiences between weapon bugs, like being able to rapid fire life staffs, to now a hatchet exploit that allows people to gain several hundred percent of additional damage because of a stacking buff that occurs with hatchets allowing someone with zero points in strength to be able to hit a level 63 mob for 2,000 damage a swing and apparently now even having towns being lost completely to hatchet wielders overwhelming and overrunning everyone that they come across because the damage is just too high. But in addition to the lack or apparent lack of reactivity, I don't want to sit here and pontificate on the ability for a dev to be able to fix a bug because I feel that that is stupid. I'm not a game developer. I don't know what it takes to be able to fix certain aspects of this game. But based on what I have seen from myself and other folks that are making content about this, the foundation of New World appears to be made of sand, and it does not look like it's getting any better. The bigger issue that I have, I think, comes right down to the official New World forums, and other videos have shown this already, but I just want to, for the purpose of my own audience, kind of reiterate how crazy this is. This is the bug report and exploit reporting forum, where people are supposed to make forum posts about what is wrong in the game, bugs that they come across, in order to be able to notify the devs that there's something wrong with the game. And inside of this, there is a mega thread that lists all of the bugs that are known in existence. And these are not all of them because I know that there are other things in here <laughs> that are not fixed, that are not listed. Like, for instance, in Outpost Rush, you can duplicate summoning tokens to gain ridiculous advantage in a very short amount of time and that is not anywhere on here but i digress in order for this mega thread to have been created this all comes from bug reports that are being made underneath it the issue is explanations with pictures and video on how to not only report the glitch but also to duplicate it and show people in a public forum how to go about exploiting cheating and duplicating items inside of the game. There's an ability for people to unban themselves by merely using Steam Family Share and using a different system or logging into a Family Shared account to log back into the game using the same account that had been banned, meaning that they don't have to go and buy the $40 game again. They can just go back and play it. They might not be able to play the same character, but for instance, Chinese gold sellers that are going into the game and spamming their gold selling websites merely have to create another family shared Steam account. They don't even have to purchase the game to go back into the game and just continuously re-advertise before they get banned to make another family share account and go back again. For instance, extremely critical duplication exploit with method explained. 
Now, there was a comment that was made private, but all you have to do is click view ignored content and you can read exactly how it was done. Trade money to the receiver as zero coins. Receiver uses a lag switch, which we already talked about over a week and a half ago and was not actioned on. The sender confirms everything. Receiver enables the lag switch, accepts the trade, cancels the trade, and then disable net limit or lag switch. And then all of a sudden, the gold never left the person sending it. It doesn't work 100% of the time, but it worked enough to where now the only step that the devs have taken is that they have turned off the ability for everyone to trade any currency in the game at all. The company owner cannot even access their own company bank funds. People cannot trade items between each other. People cannot trade items on the, the market. There is no trading, no currency exchange at all. There is no wealth transfer between players at all. And now they are going so far as to say any player that has used any of these gold duping exploits will be banned. Now, let's say someone a group of people decided that they were going to use these gold duping exploits on throwaway accounts, possibly with family share. In doing so, they decide that they're going to send rival company members gold that had been duped among them to get them booted off of the server maliciously for whatever reason. Are the recipients of that gold now taking part in this gold duplication exploit scheme? Are those people now going to be banned? Could I be? If now I'm offline and I have been for two days and somebody sends me some gold or has already sent me gold as like a malicious gotcha and I get banned from New World for gold duping, am I now labeled as a gold duper? Or if it was somebody like Sacriel that actually has like direct line of communication with the devs, are they going to label him as a gold duplicator? And those are people like Sacriel who actually knows and deals with the devs on a near daily basis for a game like this. At least he has an outlet to be able to have a conversation with them, whereas normal folks playing this game don't get that luxury. But here's what's even worse. It actually gets worse. There is a new company treasury exploit that has been discovered after the gold duplication stuff was discovered and all of the trading was turned off. This person says, if you start a town upgrade for lifestyle, a lifestyle upgrade, or upgrade your refining stations, you get the gold for the upgrade in your company bank, and the upgrade doesn't start. So you can start every possible upgrade and continue to dupe gold. At the table, inside of the game, you have the ability to designate an upgrade for a town if you own it. Company owners would start upgrades, but the upgrades won't begin because the gold can't be transferred into the town in order to start it. Instead, what the town is doing, it is giving the gold back to the company bank. It's going back into the vault. At infinitum, every company owner that owns a town that wants to start a project, every time they start the project, they are getting the equivalent value of that project deposited back into their guild bank, their company bank. And they can just keep clicking the mouse, and it just keeps going back in. So this guy, second, verifies it. Disabling gold transaction created it because they can't give the gold to the game for them to start the upgrade. And the upgrades weren't disabled to go along with the gold. So now the gold is going back to the company owner instead as a refund because it was failed. Except then the gold never left the coffers. So it's just creating gold. Tried it again upon figuring out that we still have no upgrade and no effect. Upon reconnecting to the game or with some time around 30 minutes, your company wallet gets the upgrade cost added to it. So these two people are both verifying that this bug works and how it works. It was responded to by one of the CMs on the forums. Hello. Thanks for letting us know we are aware and the game team is currently investigating a possible gold duplication exploit. Once the exploit has been investigated, the team will turn on wealth transfer. Once the exploit, I want to say this again. It's not even it's not even good English. Once the exploit has been investigated, the team will turn wealth transfer back on. We appreciate you reporting this and your patience. This looks like Raymond ended up looking at this original post thinking that it was the same post from the prior reporter talking about a different gold dupe exploit saying that they know about it already without having actually read this and realized this one is different and came as a result of what they had already done. So in this case, if the devs aren't paying attention, much like our friendly neighborhood CM here, then, then the company managers 
the owners of these companies or the companies entirely could end up being banned from the game if they don't do their due diligence, which is what this CM does not appear to be doing. Now, I don't want to sit here and just do nothing but forecast doom and gloom for everything related to New World. And as I've said, if you're in 150 hours or less, New World is a fantastic experience, and it is well worth the $40 price tag. And I hope that everyone that is playing this game or has been playing this game and has been doing it a lot more slowly than, I guess, the hardcore player base, I hope all of you are enjoying the time that you are spending playing this game. Unfortunately, the reality surrounding all of those people, or all of you people, if you are newer to New World, is that the game is changing around you in a way that actually does affect you, even if you don't realize it yet. Perhaps you've seen some of the HTML code that has been injected into the game's chat window, allowing you to see interesting graphics and colored bars and all kinds of other fun stuff. But for those of us that have had an opportunity to see most of all of what New World has to offer and has been suffering through the inability to be able to play the game effectively and has still been seeing what war looks like now, we now have an ever-popular and ever-growing in popularity forum that shows us exactly how to duplicate each and every bug and exploit that exists in the game. And by extension, the CMs that are operating in these forums, giving responses to people regarding critical bugs and critical exploits that affect the very economic fabric, in this case, of what is on each one of these servers and how the game is able to operate in a healthy state or lack thereof in this case, to then respond in a way that appears to be not even reading the context of what is being reported to them, kind of runs now at this point par for the course, because this is kind of how it's been feeling for all of us that have been playing this game since the beta into launch and up through till now. It appears as though we're not really being listened to. And if you hear the frustration in my voice, that's <laughs> frustration. Because as someone that has played this a lot and made a lot of bug reports and has tried to at least get word to the developers about things that desperately need to be repaired, and countless other videos by Hayes and others, it's extremely frustrating to feel as though this kind of stuff is falling on deaf ears. We have been asking the devs for a long time now to privatize the reporting that is done in these bug report forums, and they still haven't done it. For weeks, we have been asking, and they still haven't done it. I don't understand what the point of publicizing this kind of stuff is. It can't do any good. Uh, anyway, the, the unfortunate reality of it is, is that and the reason why I feel so disappointed about this is that New World had the potential, has the potential, to be an absolutely amazing experience. There was the beginning of something that could have been fantastic. And having played over, I don't know, 30 or 40 MMOs in the last 20 years of my gaming life from EverQuest, original EverQuest, all of those games up through till now, this game had actually captivated my attention to the point where I really wanted to play an MMO again. And the unfortunate reality of all of this is that the product appears to be incredibly rushed in its delivery when it comes to something like an MMO that is supposed to carry on for longer. Once the vast majority of the player base reaches level 60, 50 plus, and now has the ability to participate in whatever New World has as their endgame, will not matter because the endgame will be secondary to the ever-growing list of extremely game-breaking exploits and server manipulation and everything else that is being discovered literally every day as long as these servers remain up. I honestly can't blame people for asking for refunds from the devs over this kind of stuff. I don't think they'll ever get it, but I don't blame them for saying that they want one. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for your time. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I will be live again tomorrow on Twitch at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you made it this far, please consider giving a like to the video, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.